What's up everyone, it's my out here, 2K17, speculation for you now, let's look at the week 4 roster reveal, and as you can see in the chart, if you are blind, sorry, can't help you, colorblind, may need to help you, the dark brown is week 1, so that was fixed with the numbers, okay, they were fixed in their positions, light blue was week 2, orange was week 3, little grey colour scion, whatever colour is week 4, and then the yellow greeny little light colour with Ian Ambrose, John Cena, Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins are confirmed but not in Suplex City. And that's why I'm going to leave my point on for today's video. Is we have been confirmed that Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon and Mr McMahon are confirmed for the game. They're not in Suplex City yet and this is what causes a mighty problem when you base them on the numbers. Yes, the numbers. The numbers I keep going on about and then people still don't understand. Now, do not get me wrong, not 100% guaranteed on the numbers. There could be flaws into it, and this could be the reason for the flaws. But you still can't ignore the fact that the numbers have not lied since. We've had four weeks of the roster reveal, and the gaps have not overlapped once. Not once has there been overlap in the roster. So with that being said, what do we do next? Because the roster reveal is pretty stacked, and by the mind... This is on disc, not DLC, because you can see Goldberg at 131 and Nakamo and the NXT people. They are definitely confirmed, and we're speculating anything in the white gaps. Because we're thinking Asuka and Bailey, Bailey will be on disc. Asuka, maybe, maybe not, but she is on the NXT box, so chances are she'd be on disc. Um, DLC from last year for 2K16. Pretty much all the characters have appeared in the game so far, which makes you think Big Boss Man will still be in. Uh, Dusty Rhodes, um, there was Kevin Nash, so you assume there'd be a Diesel since Scott Hall was in it. Uh, Goldust would, has to be in the same for Swagger and Kane. Uh, Luke has been in the main game for years now. You would think he'd be in that possible. But it could be Luke Gallows. It is possible. But then Kane gets removed and then Carl Anderson gets put in his place. Which is why I think the club are going to be um, DLC, to be honest with you. But where do you put Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, and Vince McMahon or Mr. McMahon in the list? You can't remove anyone. So let's go with, let's say, Mr. McMahon, if he's under M. There's two gaps left available. Okay, and in theory, yes, you can remove Lex Luger, put Mr. McMahon in there, um, or remove Luke Harper. But Luke Harper's just injured, and he still appeared at, um, before WrestleMania, so it's not going to happen. What about Stephanie and Shane McMahon then? Because that's behind uh, Simon Gotch. And the Ultimate Warrior. Now, because it's Stephanie and Shane who both be in that gap, there is only one blank slot. Okay. Now I've put Stevie Ray there. There's one other superstar that should be there, um, and that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold has not been confirmed for the roster. Now, some people quick to point out by zooming out on Suplex City, the census, you can see El Can that said Whoopass. So chances are Stone Cold is in that slot, and Stevie Ray just isn't going to be in the game, which is sad. Um, no one really used him, but it's sad that a DLC guy isn't on the disc next year. But it looks like Dustin Rhodes won't be either. But then again, it could be on alternate attire for Goldust. As we progress through, uh, you can see they've only mentioned one mm, version of a superstar so far. No multiple versions this year. Uh, apart from Goldberg, they've announced two different attire versions for him. There was five Stone Cold Steve Austins. I've got a spreadsheet um, notepad of how many different attires Sting had three, Triple H had three, Taker had three. There's a huge number. So we'll do a roster number count as we know the final number next week. And we, we were, we're judging on certain big comprehensive stuff. Blake and Murphy would assume we'd be on the disc as their full names just by the numbers once more. And... Yeah, uh, it's very lacklustre. I mean, no Mick Foley as well. Mick Foley might be removed from the game. Maybe they're locked characters, maybe they're DLC. Uh, we are just perplexed at the minute. This has given us more questions than answers, as they normally do with these roster reveals. If you have any insightful information, then you have, of course, I've got the Eddie Guerrero Rey Mysterio situation, which makes me think if Sasha does know stuff, it's DLC as a WCW style cruiser package. That'd be nice. But we don't know. We don't know. 
What do you think? Do you think any of this information is accurate? Do you think I'm talking, telling a load of porkies? I wasn't wrong about the Billy Gunn thing, so, you yeah, know, pinch of salt. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more WWE Gaming goodness. We will see you very soon with another video. So subscribe for more 2K17 goodness. Do it now. And follow me on Twitter at It's My Yard. Yeah. Yeah. Ta-ta.